Okay, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, gentlemen. Okay, we are doing 1G today, order of operations. Why do we need a particular order to do our operations? Now, have a look. In all of these four questions, we're not doing just addition or just subtraction or multiplication. Don't we have more than one operation? Yes. yes. Pens down, please. Thank you. So do we just choose whichever one we want to do first? Like, I want to do addition first. Oscar wants to do multiplication first. You know, someone else wants to do division first, and we'll all get different answers, don't won't we? Is that right? Yes. No. Maths is about following the rules, and I need to teach you what is the best way, or what's the correct way, to actually evaluate the answers to these questions. So we have to follow this thing called bod mass. What does the letter B stand for? Um, brackets. It does. So brackets. <coughs> What does the word O stand for? Order. It actually stands for... Off. Some people call it off. Operation. Other. We, I call it other operations. Now, there's actually a lot more operations than just our basic plus, minus, multiply and divide. However, in year 7, we're not that mean to you. We don't want you to get confused because there's already too much going on in your heads. So we only actually do indices, and that's why I'm going to change this O into an I and call it bid mass, because you'll only be dealing with indices, and I'll tell you what that means in a minute. So has anyone heard this word before, indices? Yes. What? Yes? It looks like if there's like a three and a two, um, there's, uh, you do two threes and Exactly. Well done. So if I have a number written on top, it's called an index. So it's not read as 3, 2. It's called 3 to the power of 2. So 2 is the power or the index. And this actually means that we multiply, multiply 3 by itself 2 times. So what's 3 squared equal to? 9. Nine. And I gave you a list of the first 15 squares. Yes? So indices are when we have this little number on top and it actually means the number of times we have to multiply this number by itself. So the first thing we do is brackets. What if we have more than one set of brackets? Which one do we do first? The innermost bracket. Can you see 11 minus 2? Yeah. Yes. See, it's the innermost, then we have the square brackets, then we have those curly wiggly brackets. So the innermost brackets is de are dealt with first. So the first thing we do is brackets, then we do any indices because we don't need to know about any other functions in year 7. And then D stands for? Division. M stands for? A? And S? Well done. So B for brackets, E for indices, D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition and S for subtraction. Pens down please. Now, so we must follow this order to actually get our answers. So the first thing we do is brackets, then, in the, then the indices after that. The division and multiplication are kind of at the same level. They're like siblings. We must treat them equally. Okay? So division and multiplication, we don't discriminate again amongst them. Whichever comes first from left to right in a question, we do that first. So for example... In this question, we have division and we have a times. Well, it's in a bracket, so we would do times first anyways. But if it wasn't a times, let's say we have uh, 2 divided by, you know, 12 divided by 6 times 3. What would you do first? The division. Division, because it's written first from left to right. So division and multiplication are next after indices, whichever comes first from left to right. Same thing with addition and subtraction. Plus or minus, whichever comes first from left to right. We treat them equally. They're like siblings as well. So we cannot discriminate. So brackets first, then indices, then multiplication or division, whichever comes first, left to right. And then finally, or subtraction, whichever comes first from left to right. Let's do some questions now. So we have to follow our bid mass. So it'll be handy if you write bid mass on top of your page when you're doing your homework for this exercise. Are there any brackets? No. no. Are there any indices? No. no. Division? Yes. yes. Now, make sure you follow this working out. So you can highlight the operation you're going to do. Must put an equal sign because the second line is going to be equal to the first. 
Whatever operation you're doing. So what is 6 divided by 3? <laughs> However, you must copy the rest of the question as it is. So, am I doing anything to the 4? No. So I should write 4. Am I doing anything to the plus? No. no. What is 6 divided by 3? Two. 2. So you must show this line. You can't just write 2. Now, where did the 4 go? So whichever operation you're doing, highlight it or underline it. But it is important to copy the rest of the question as it is. Sit up, please. And put an equal sign. Now, this is the only operation left. What's 4 plus 2? 6. Six. Six. Simple. Next one. Any brackets? No. no. Then what's the next step? Indices. Any indices? No. Division or multiplication? Yes. yes. So don't we have 48 divided by 6? Yes. What do I put here? Eight. Eight. Equal sign. And then I copy as it is. So 12 plus, what's 48 divided by 6? 8. 8. Can I replace 48 divided by 6 by 8? And then copy everything else as it is. Now, which addition do I do first? The, um, the first one, the 12 plus Well, eight. yep, in this case doesn't matter because does order matter in addition? No. no, but if it was subtraction, then that would affect. But to always um, get the right answer, make sure you stick from the left to right rule. So left, let's do the left to right first. 12 plus 8? 20. 20. Plus the 12? 32. 32. 32. Make sense? Yes. Okay, next one. We've got three sets of brackets. So we've got the round small brackets and then we've got the big square brackets and then we've got these squiggly brackets. So we work on the innermost bracket first. So I'm going to highlight the thing I'm going to be solving. Everything else needs to be copied. Eyes on the board. Equals 80 divided by, put the same bracket. What's the next thing? The square bracket. So what's 11 take away 2? 9. Nine. Now, we don't need that, so copy everything else as it is. And it's not complicated at all. Equals. Now, aren't we going to do this bracket now? Because this is now the innermost bracket? Yes. So, 9 times 2 is? 18. 18. Everything else as it is, but the bracket that you were solving, like evaluating, that's no longer there. Question? Um, I think you've got the uh, 2 final, so... Just okay, that's fine. I do make mistakes. Awesome. Now, is this the bracket left now? Yeah. Yes. So, 80 divided by 18 plus 2 is 20. Now, division, we did this yesterday. Let's write it as a fraction here because they're multiples of 10. Can I divide both of them by 10? Yes. And I'm left with 8 divided by 2, which is? Four. You guys are doing really well. Getting smarter by the day. Yes. Question? No. Awesome. Next one. Do I have a bracket? No. Do I have an index? Yes. 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 So I must write the value of 3 squared first. I cannot times this 3 by 2 before I've actually done the, you know, what is 3 to the power of 2. What's another way of saying 3 to the power of 2? 3 squared. 3 squared. Well done. Anything to the power of 2 is also called as th that number squared. So what is 3 squared? 9. Why? Three times three. Nine. So, everything else must be copied as it is. 21 take away nine times two plus one. The next step, any division? No. Multiplication? Yes. Underline it or mark it some way. Copy everything else as it is. Nine take away two is 18 plus one. Now, we've got a plus and a minus. They're on the same level. They're siblings. However, which one comes first from left to right? The subtraction. Subtraction. So we must do the subtraction first. 21 take away 18? 3. And 3 plus 1 is 4. four. And that is bit mass. Yes? Um, for the third question, Yes. put 4 instead of 40. No, it's just yeah. four. Say that again? <laughs> yeah, because 80 divided by 2, we divided both top and bottom of the fraction by 10. So we basically got rid of the zeros, and then 8 divided by 2 is 4. Any other questions? Any issues? Yes? But could you also just write the 4? No. 
Okay. Yeah, you can just, if you know that 80 divided by 20 is 4, you don't have to do that working out. Yeah. But however, the way I've set up the question, the way I've copied the rest of the things, that must be copied that way, that must be done that way. Make sure you put equal sign, that's the correct way of setting up this question. So your working out is more important than getting the actual answer. Happy with that? Awesome. Copy. Oh.